Welcome to Max Video Disability, where it's your body, your claim, your money. Hey everybody, I'm Black Hawk Brian. Today's topic, CRSC, Combat Related Special Compensation. Today we're going to cover four topics. What is it? When and how to file? How long to get an answer? And how much back pay can you get? Sometimes it's a lot of money, trust me. If you like the information on this video, please like and subscribe. Better yet, tell a buddy. Number one, what is Combat Related Special Compensation, CRSC? Combat Related Special Compensation provides tax-free payments to retired veterans with combat-related disabilities. You must apply for CRSC through your uniform service. Nobody's going to do it for you. If you don't ask, you do not get. Keep reading to learn about eligibility, evidence you need to provide, and how to apply. There are two sources that I'm going to show you today, this one from the uh, VA.gov and then the one from DFAS. They basically say the same thing, but in my opinion, the VA site actually does a, a better job of breaking it down and kind of clarifying what you need. All of these must be true to be eligible for CRSC. You retired, and you're entitled to receiving military retirement pay, and you have a VA disability rating of at least 10%, and you currently have your DOD retirement payments reduced by the amount of your VA disability payments. I've got multiple videos explaining CRSC and CRDP and what the offset is, the VA offset. This primarily pertains to National Guard and reservists. But let's say you're National Guard, you had your 20-year letter, you're forced to retire under a Chapter 61, but you're not of eligible retirement age of 60 years old. So your VA check with a spouse, let's just say you're rated at 100%. It's 3823.89 on the making of this video. So 3823. And your military retirement, whatever your rank was, let's just use a number. This is just a made-up number, $3,000. Well, your VA check is larger than your actual military retirement check, and you're not of eligible age. You are not 60 years old in most cases. You do not see this check at all. All you will see is 3823.89. This is the offset because you haven't reached the requirements. So back on the VA.gov website, details about your retirement eligibility requirement. One of these must be true. You had 20 or more years of service in the military, National Guard or Reserve, 20-year letter. You retired for medical reasons with a disability rating of at least 30% under Chapter 61. Or you're covered under the Temporary Early Retirement Act, TERA. Or you're on the Temporary Disability Retirement List, TDRL or you're on the permanent disability retirement list. This is the part where the VA website does a much better job than the DFAS site because it tells you the evidence and other documents you'll need to provide. And people, trust me, when I say you need anything and everything, you send them everything you have. But I will say this, if your back was injured in combat and, and you have a VA rating for your knee, only do the work on your back. Don't send them paperwork on your knee. It just bogs it down. Your service medical records, your military medical records. These must be from when your injury happened. They must show the severity of your medical condition that is com combat related. Note, provide only relevant medical records. Please don't send us all of your medical records. Again, don't send them stuff for your foot if you heard it skateboarding out back. Official service records. These include after action reports, investigative reports, personal action requests, and performance evaluations, NCOERs, OERs, line of duties, decorations and award recommendations. These include Purple Heart citations, combat action badge, medals, and decorations for valor. Other documents. Retired records. These include retirement orders and the Armed Forces of the United States Report of Transfer. Your VA decision notice. Your DD-214. However many you have. I have three of them. What the evidence must show about your combat-related disability. The evidence must show that your injury happened while you were. Now, I'm going to skip these, and I'm going to jump over to this form right here. Because if you look down here, it does a very good job. It's the DD Form 2860. This is what you file for CRSC with. Appendix A, combat-related codes. Purple Heart, direct result of armed conflict in the performance of duty under conditions simulating war, SW, while engaged in hazardous service, HS, Instrumentality of War, IN, Agent Orange, AO, Radiation Exposure, RE, and then Gulf War, Mustard Gas, or Lewisite, MG. I'm not going to read through all this. It would take me about 10 minutes, but this tells you what each one of those literally means. Look at this word, combat related. We're not talking all the time that you have to have bullets flying around you and people getting shot. These are the related conditions. How to apply for CRSC. 
If you don't ask, you don't get. The VA will not tell you whether you're eligible. You just have to know this. And people like me have to get on YouTube and tell you this. Send your completed application along, along with any supporting documents to your uniform service. Please don't send original supporting documents since your uniform service won't return them. Send copies only. And we recommend that you make a copy of your completed application for your own records. When I made my copies, it was about two and a half, three inches thick. You're going to fill out a claim for combat-related special compensation with the DD-2 uh, form 2860. So let me stop right here. How long does it take to get a decision? I'm going to tell you it took me roughly four months from the time I sent my paperwork in till I got an answer. How far back will they pay you? There's a six-year statute of limitations for CRC. So if you got out of the military, let's say in 2019, and you were retired on a Chapter 61, and you went roughly four years before you realized, hey, you know what? I'm eligible for combat-related special compensation. And you file your claim and you win. They will back pay you back to the date of when you got eligible for it. So when your VA offset payments started. And just to wrap it up, where do you send this information to? Here it is, uniform service addresses. You've Air Force and Space Force address, Army, Coast Guard, and Navy, Marine Corps. Questions you may have about CRSC. Can you get back payments? Can I ask my uniform service to reconsider my request for CRSC? And how to request reconsideration. But here's one big question that's not on that. CRSC versus CRDP. A lot of acronyms today. Combat-related special compensation versus concurrent retirement disability pay. You only get one or the other. You do not get both. So if you need help building your claim, whether it's a CRSC or CRDP, or initial claim, secondary conditions, increases, you name it, please check me out at www.maxviadisability.com where it's your body, your claim, your money.